joining us for uh, today's very special lesson taught by our teacher, Jack Stocken. Uh, it is a real joy to have uh, both our regulars, the wonderful members of Jack's ongoing uh, class, um, co-sponsors of this event in a sense, and to see so many new folks joining in from all over. Uh, we're doing this as a fundraiser, as uh, you all know, for Cancer Research UK, a wonderful organization. Uh, a little bit later, we'll uh, share a little more information about them, but we're partnering with uh, the English Bridge Union, the Scottish Bridge Union, to raise money to uh, help support um, the research which Cancer Research UK is doing. Really important stuff. I see folks already making contributions. Um, if you can afford it, uh, you know, maybe five pounds, 10 pounds. If you can't afford it, please don't worry about it. We're happy to have you here. Um, folks might be watching this later in the future uh, by recording. Uh, I'll make sure that we include a link so that if you'd like to donate, uh, there should be a link either just below this video or in the email that you're receiving uh, with this replay um, you can use to make a donation. Uh, just a quick, um, a couple quick things before we get started. Uh, forgive me, let me introduce myself. <laughs> there are people who probably don't know who I am. My name's Bajir. I made uh, the website learnbridgeonline.com, um, a website for us bridge learners from around the world, uh, where hopefully we can learn from some of the best bridge teachers from around the world, including the very own, uh, the one and only Jack Stocken. Um, he's been teaching his online lessons here for a while now, and uh, it is a real joy and pleasure being able to learn from him and uh, work with him. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. Uh, I'd like to make sure the regulars already know this. I see so many folks jumping in the chat already. Uh, in the chat, that's where you can respond to Jack's questions. That's where you can ask Jack your own questions and your involvement in the class will really help Jack know when to slow down, when to speed up. Uh, if you have a question, it's very likely that other people will too. If you're unsure of an answer, please don't hesitate to put it in there. We're all making mistakes together. You see us an incredibly friendly uh, group here. So we'll all support each other. Uh, Jack uh, does a fantastic job taking care of us all. There are people with more experience and less experience. You're, you're in the right place. So uh, please do get involved in the live chat. We can't see you or hear you, so don't don't uh, talk to the, the, the screen, uh, but do get involved in the live chat. Now, if you are having any tech trouble, I do want to ask you, don't put that in the live chat as it can distract from the learning and the fundraising. Instead, uh, if you have any tech trouble, right above my head, you'll see a banner, LearnBridge Online, click here for support. If you're running into tech trouble, click on that. It'll bring you to a page with our recommendations for what to try. We have some backup links. We have some tips. We'll also make sure that this recorded lesson is shared with all of you who registered for this lesson, for this fundraiser, and of course, to uh, the regular members of this ongoing weekly, weekly class. You guys know where to find it. Um, as always, you can reach me with any questions about anything at all, or just to say hi at hello at learnbridgeonline.com. Um, okay, um, let's get to it. Let's call our teacher on up to the stage, Jack Stocken. Let me find him. A big, a big round. Let's pretend he can hear us. If we all uh, start uh, applauding. Morning. Hey there, Jack. Welcome, welcome. Now, Jack, I just started the recording, so it should fire up momentarily. Uh, so just wanted to... Uh, 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 slow us down until we see that the recording yes. is in fact active. There and it here is. it is, recording is active. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone in the class joining by replay said you can be with us live, but this should be a fun one, Jack. Oh, such fun. I mean, I'm just delighted to be doing this fundraiser for Cancer Research UK and, and for Scotland as well. Um, it's just great. You know, Bridge is such a good way of raising money. I've done quite a few charity events over the years, but I think this is probably yeah, definitely one of the biggest ones I'm doing. Um, so really, really excited. We've got a lot of newcomers, of course, special guests are joining us for the first time. I've just put the link to the leaderboard, Bajir, and guess what we're up to already? I think we're up to about £315. Oh, well done, all. Well done. And then we just got started. 
I know. I know. And then we've got all the people, you know, who will hopefully donate who are watching in replay as well. So I think uh, we've got the leaderboard. I love leaderboards. You know, I'm quite competitive. I love, I just love the idea of leaderboards and stuff like that. So we're actually third uh, out in the fundraising leaderboard at the moment. Oh, gosh. Well, come on, guys. We can do this. We can I do it. I think we can get up to second, this year by the end of this. I, I think we could. So that's our target. It would be really nice to do that. But, yeah, they're no, just delighted to be here. Um, I've got a really good lesson lined up on forcing or non-forcing bids. Um, I'm ready to go. Fantastic. Well, just again, Jack, thank you for having the idea to do this fundraiser. And thank you to everyone in the regular class for uh, jumping on board and being supportive of it, inviting your friends and everything. You guys make all of this possible. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, it's all down to the students. And uh, certainly they can donate at the end as well, um, you know, at any time. So that's good. So, yes, uh, I'm really excited. It's, uh, yeah, it's just great. All right, Jack, over to you. But yeah. uh, sing out my name if I could be of any help. Sure. I think, yes, Maggie needs some help, I think. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, it's, yeah, I'm just delighted to be here. You can see how happy I am. Um, let's get going, shall we? Um, da, 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 da. And let's just present forcing or non-forcing bids. So, yes, the format, everyone, is we have a Google presentation, uh, PowerPoint slides, and we're going to play four really interesting hands on BBO as well. So forcing or non-forcing bids, there's two types of bids in bridge, really. There's forcing bids, which means they're either forcing for one round. Yeah, you have to reply once, but not, not necessarily to game. Then there's forcing to game bids as well, which means you cannot, cannot stop short of game. Three no trumps, four hearts, etc. Then on the other side of the coin, there you go. There's one side, there's the other. Um, you've got non-forcing bids. They're bids we must pass, okay? Um, you're not supposed to bid again. And invitational bids where we pass or raise. Okay. So most of the slides are done on a question and answer basis. So you can interact via the chat box and that's by far the best way of learning. So this auction here, I've opened two clubs, 23 plus. You've correctly responded two diamonds as a waiting bid. Yeah, naught to 10, naught to 12 points. There's no upper limit now. We call it a waiting bid in the modern style. Um, I've come back with two hearts. Would you bid again now south with zero points? If so, what? Would you pass? Would you bid? It's our first question of the morning. And welcome to all our, certainly our Scottish fundraisers as well. <clears throat> yes, what do you bid? Not easy, is it? No points at all. It's a Yarborough. Named after Lord Yarborough. I'm not going to give you the history of it right now, but for those who don't know who Yarborough is, you can Google it at the end. A Yarborough Bridge will tell you the little story. Well, just a clue, two clubs is forcing to game. You do have to bid again. I'm going to give you a get out of jail free card very early because the bridge prison is overcrowded, rather like the normal prisons. Yeah, there's very little space left. So get out of jail free. You do have to bid again. You cannot pass even with nothing. But what do you bid? Well, I wouldn't bid four hearts just yet. Partners only promising a five card suit as north. Okay, they haven't got six. So just for the moment, I would actually recommend just bidding two spades. You're not promising any points. You're just showing a five card suit. I prefer that to two no trumps. You know, sometimes that's the second negative, but I don't really want to be playing. South doesn't really want to be playing his hand in no trumps. Uh, they'd rather that north would. Good, so two spades there. Well done if you got that right. But we do need to keep going to the bitter end. Yeah, when partner comes back with three hearts in this auction, then you raise to four hearts. Okay, so I think that's a good principle. Two clubs, when partner comes back a suit, two hearts or whatever, it's forcing to game. Okay, Odette, just have a word with Bajir. One or two having tech problems, maybe newcomers. Uh, Bajir, press the widget. Or contact Bajir. Hello at learnbridgeonline.com. But try refreshing your browser, Odette. That's nearly a good one for newcomers who are having any tech problems. We're going straight into ham one, which is quite exciting. On BBA, these are hands I prepared earlier. And 23 points. We're going to open two clubs. I'm even going to alert it because I'm a good boy. Well, some of the time. And what would you bid with a north hand, if anything? Neil Kwan. Pardon the French accent. 
morning. Let's say a few hellos, because quite a few newcomers today, of course, for this uh, special charity one-off event. But just to share the link with you, if you've got any problems, you can watch it on the backup link on YouTube. Caro, Lucy Marsh. It's probably going to be too many people today, actually. Our regulars and newcomers. Ken Wallace is a newcomer, I think. Anthony Lloyd. Well, I think I know. It's the Anthony Lloyd, is it? Elizabeth Gold Dust. If you're all bidding two diamonds, yes, it's fairly straightforward. Waiting bid, naught to 10, naught to 12 points, no upper limit. In the old days, it used to be naught to seven points, but we've changed that now. We nearly always bid two diamonds. And North, do they bid again with their Yarborough? Alison, in the first hand, it just showed five hearts. So here, the two spade bid is just promising a five card suit. Lisa, good morning. Patricia B, David, Sandy. Chris is in Ely. He's been with us for a long time. Rob P. That's Rob Penman, I think, sometime golf partner of Jack Stockham. Ellen, newcomers, I think, names I don't recognize in the chat box. Kathy, Gina B, Ella, TJ's in London, in case you forget. Yeah, actually, here, you should jump straight to four spades. Julie Granger, well done. It's known as the principle of fast arrival. So actually, when you're in a game-forcing situation, a four-spade bid here is weaker than three spades. It's quite a subtle point. If you don't get it, then it wafts over your head like the familiar warm breeze. I will do that one more time. Um, yes, three spades is a stronger bid, generally showing about four points or more. Four spades says, look, I'm rubbish. Please leave me alone. Don't bid again. On to slam. Uh, Jill South has got 23 points. That's why they've opened two clubs. Thank you, Tiggy. <laughs> Jack's mom would normally be joining us in the chat box, but she's uh, she's uh, on a sailing trip in Palermo, actually. Yeah, believe it or not. Uh, right. OK, well, I'm never going to play too quickly at trick one because I'm planning the play. Have you? Some declarers just rush in, don't have a plan. No, no. It's obvious that we're going to play the two of diamonds, but we need to have a plan. And really, the main question is whether we're going to draw trumps or not. I've decided what I'm going to do. <laughs> yes, we've got Tiggy and Sir Beetle. No, that's good. <laughs> right, which card are we going to play at trick two, everyone? So you'll notice already, newcomers, these lessons are very interactive, constantly involving you uh, in, the, in the question and answer on the slides or here, the hand that we're playing together. This is a joint effort. Right, which card do we play as Declara now, South, everyone? donated by the gold bar. And it's all tied into whether we should draw trumps or not. By the way, regulars, I hope you've noticed that I made a bit of an effort with my jacket and shirt today. Thought I'd dress up for the occasion. Not that I'm fishing for a compliment or anything. <laughs> Jill T, very good lead, queen from Queen Jack. Yeah, the top of the sequence is a very common lead. Well, very well done if you played a heart. <laughs> Patricia's dressed up too in a dressing gown. I like that, Patricia. Yeah, so remember, the main time when we don't draw trumps, everyone, is if we can create a void on dummy. So look for a longer a suit that is longer in your own hand as declarer than dummy. Okay. Now... What does West do next, do you think, having won the Ten of Hearts? Which card should West play? Let's have some defence. Mud's only on opening lead, Lisa. Middle up, down. Only on the opening lead. Yeah, if I was sitting as West and I thought Declare is going to create a void, I'd switch to a Trump. Good. Well done, team. Good defense, we play another heart. Another trump comes back. But I think we're going to win the race. So now we've created the void, we can trump on the dummy. 
And the hard work's done now. Yeah, just really we're coasting now, playing out winners. They're going to take their winning trump when they want. We will just play them out. I mean, normally I might claim if I was playing in a game, giving them one trick. But yeah, it's polite to play them out. <clears throat> Which we're doing very quickly here. We'll soon be finished. No, you can't draw two rounds of trumps first. Yeah, quite right, Dulce. Yes, well spotted. Yeah, no, you've had it. Um, if you had your life again, and you were like an international bridge player, or you had double... I mean, Queen of Diamonds is the normal lead, but what lead here would have defeated uh, four spades if you were clairvoyant or perhaps were an international player? <clears throat> Morning, Gina B, Nicole... Nicole, I think I've got the most right. Anne in Harrogate, Maggie, Rob P, Lucy, Caroline. Yes, a trump. But remember when you lead a trump, it's correct to lead a low one. So the two of spades would be correct here. Lindy's with us, a newcomer, Caro, NR, all joining the charity event. What a great way of raising money. I can't wait to have a look at the total, actually. I'm a bit busy at the moment. I love totals. I love leaderboards. Right, let's go back to the classroom. Here we go. Forcing or non-forcing, the basic principle is change of suit is forcing, okay? When you bid a new suit, partner has to bid again. Also, if any player repeats their own suit at any level, then that bid is non-forcing. Just repeating your suit is generally non-forcing. Those are the two basic principles. So here we go. I've opened one heart. You've come back two clubs with your 11 points of south. I've rebid two diamonds. Show my shape. What is your rebid now as south? I don't know if I was teaching this last week to a group. Responders' rebid is the most difficult bid in bridge. What's south's rebid now? Can you tell me also, tell me also, two marks available here, if that two diamond bid is forcing or not? It's not game forcing, but is it forcing? Do we have to bid again? Lynn Fullerton, good morning. Didi, Kim. Kim as in Kim and Mary fame, I think. Eileen. Fred's with us from before Peter A from Harrogate. Yes, it is 100% forcing that bid, yeah. And well done. Most of the chat box, Dawn, Ella, Rosemary, Maggie, of course, one of our regulars, Alex, Jay, are bidding three hearts. Well done. Did you get that one right in replay? Uh, many of you will watch this lesson in replay. And uh, obviously the links will still be there to donate for you. Good. So well done. Three hearts there. I'm showing you five hearts and four diamonds. Three hearts shows 10 to 12 points and precisely three card support. Yep, good work. Um, that two diamond bid could be 12 points. Could be as many as 18. Yeah, we don't jump with... Uh, with 12 to 18. We'll come on to the jump shift later in the lesson. But yeah, North is very open in points. 12 to 18 is that two diamond bid. Here's another one for you. Um, is North's two club bid forcing? And what does South bid, if anything, with six points now? So I've opened the heart. You've rightly bid a spade. You forget the diamonds on these hands. Bid the four card major. You know we're strong enough to bid two diamonds anyway. Uh, I've come back two clubs. Would you bid again with the south hand? Would you pass? Is it forcing? Um... The answer is, I'll give you a clue. Here's a clue. It's 95% forcing. So just before you give your answer, you're allowed to change it. You are allowed to pass. So it's 95% forcing. So most of the time, South will bid again. You don't have to. Do you fancy bidding again with that hand? You've got to get out of jail free card here. Shall I use it again? Why not? I quite like using it. Um, yes. I think some have perhaps taken advantage of the hint. Really, the odds of making game are so small, it's best to pass. Even if partner's got 18 points, we're not going to make game. 
So interesting here, but the reason it's 95% forcing is we've only come back one spade here. Okay, promising six points to South. The previous hand, we'd come back two clubs, promising 10 points. So that was a forcing situation. So a, quite a subtle difference here, I would say, between the two bits. Good. Yeah, I passed with that, just playing the five forfeit. Change of suit is forcing a lane, but here only 95%. <laughs> there are exceptions. All right, here's another one. I've opened a heart. You've come back one spade with your six points. Yeah, definitely not bidding one no trump dustbin, showing me your four card major. And three hearts. You say that, Magic. I don't think partner will be too upset in two clubs because there's a singleton on the dummy. So they might well be able to rough lots of hearts on the dummy. Yeah, in two clubs. And just by the way, going back to that last hand, uh, an experienced player would lead a trump there. Uh, automatic to lead a club when you get that type of auction. For more experienced players, when responder leaves opener in their second suit, a trump lead is automatic. Take those trumps off the table, Magic. Yeah. Okay, uh, do we have to bid again here? It is non-forcing. Most of the time, when you repeat your suit, it's non-forcing. And that's poor hand, isn't it? Good. Yeah, their free heart bid is 16 plus. Well done. Let's move on. Going along nicely. We're on to hand two on BBO. Let's visit BBO. A couple of hands I prepared earlier. Uh, just for newcomers, by the way, you will get, Bashir will send you the link on the website to access the worksheet that you'll be able to read and download. Also, you get two hands, two of these BBO hands you can play for yourself. So one club opener, yeah, on BBA. And then if you press the next button at the end, uh, it takes it through automatically how I would advise you to play the hand. Yeah, so you, if you can't get it, you know, if you can't make the contract, you just press next and click, 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 and it tells you how to play the hand card by card with me I, having programmed it. So that's quite a useful feature. Uh, cheapest of fours for responders, that's one heart. We're teaching Apple, by the way, this morning. Although these lessons are suitable for standard American five uh, standard American strong no trump players too. And what's the rebid of South, everyone? What have we got? Sixteen points. Yeah, that's why this lesson is really suitable, Alison, because a lot of British players improve as intermediates. Sometimes strugglers know which is which bids are forcing and and which aren't. It, it's hard. Notice how it would be wrong to bid one no trumpers north. That would deny a four card major. Sarah Davies, good morning. I do know Sarah Davies. Is it the Sarah Davies I know? Uh, from Bridge Holidays. Janie, Robin, O'Brien and Christine, the double act. Where would we be without you? Good. So jumping with 16 plus. Anything more from North? It's a non-forcing bid, isn't it? Yeah. So we pass. Good. And what would your opening lead be? Let's test your opening lead skills, especially for newcomers who are joining us either in the live, live lesson today or in replay. And do pass the lesson on to friends as well. Give them the link so they can watch the lesson in replay. Feel free to share it with anyone you can. Try and raise as much money as we can. All the donations, of course, go to Cancer Research at UK or, or Scotland. Well, never lead away from an ace. Four of, uh, well, you wouldn't lead a trump here anyway, but no. I would definitely lead a middle up, down, seven of dumps. Don't mind the nine, but the seven's a bit more accurate. Middle, up, down. Well, we're going to struggle to make three clubs. Well, I say we're going to struggle. It's looking okay at the moment. Yeah, I'm hoping that trumps might divide evenly, three and two. Definitely a hand to draw trumps. Yeah, that's going to be our, our mission. Uh, but before we do that, never play too quickly at trick one. Are you going to go? And this is 
quite decisive here. Are you going to go second player, play low? Try not to look at the East-West cards, by the way. I know it's hard, but I do massively feel it's easy when teaching to have all four hands shown uh, on BBA when we do the, the hands. But would you play the four of diamonds here? Or would you put in the ten or the jack? In all honesty, you know, if you were at the table. Got to decipher the lead, you see. The seven of diamonds is a high for hate. Or a middle up down. So this is quite difficult. But given that the lead is probably from queen nine seven, nine seven, X, actually, and this may surprise you, it's best to put in the four. Okay? Given that what the lead card might be from. Second player plays low. Not always, but here. It's actually better to play the four. I know lots of you would be tempted to force out the king or the queen. Because now look what happens, you see. The queen, yeah, uh, touching honours, cheapest of touching honours. We win with the ace. Okay, so what would you do now? Got off to a good start. What would we, card would we play next from Declare a South? What do you think we do next? Draw trumps or something else. So we've just won. And obviously in replay, you get more time to think about this. You can press the pause button and make yourself a cup of tea. I'm going to give you a clue. It looks like, here's the clue. We might have a heart loser. Well, no, sorry. We've definitely got a heart loser. Is there any way of getting rid of it early doors? Because if we draw trumps, they are going to switch to hearts quite soon. How can we get rid of that heart loser, the nine of hearts, early doors? Quite a tricky hand, this one. A couple of them, as I say, you can play in replay on BBO after the lesson. Uh, Bajir gives you the links on the learnbridgeonline.com website. Well, because we've played skillfully on the diamonds, everyone, we can set up a diamond trick, look. Yeah, that's right, Peter. Oh, Adette's on board. Good. Cynthia T. Yeah, they've switched to a heart, but we rise with the ace. Over to dummy with the ace of spades. And there's our diamond winner look. Should we just marvel at it for a second? So this was a tricky play to make. So very well done if you got that in the live chat box or watching in replay. The nine of hearts goes away and only now do we draw the trumps to the king uh, they would cash their king of hearts which would be rough continue with the trump slightly disappointed with the 4-1 split there's nothing we can do about that we're going to lose a couple more trumps but we are going to make this contract it was a tricky hand, Caroline, yes. Just playing out the trumps now. We're going to make two more at the end, whatever. And we are just going to squeeze home. One, ten, three clubs. So that would be a great score at duplicate, mainly because we stayed in the right contract and because we, because it was a joint effort, Played it well. The key play, of course, was that four of diamonds uh, flushing out the king and the queen. Yeah, and then and then subsequently getting rid of the nine of hearts early doors. Otherwise, we'd have been one down. So we managed to overcome a really poor trump split there. Let's go back to the classroom. Okay, I've opened a heart. You bid one spade with your seven points. I've jumped to three diamonds. So what type of forcing bid is the three diamonds? Let's just ask you that. Is it forcing for one round? Is it game forcing? You can put in GF for game forcing like Jones done. Of course, I do teach two online live lessons every week of the year. Well, they sometimes give me a break at Christmas. 
uh, Monday and Wednesday mornings. But it's all on the website. Intermediates are on Monday at 9.30. This is a slightly more experienced class. Uh, Wednesdays at 11 is for improvers. They've been playing a year or two. And then I'm teaching beginners beginning of October. Complete beginners as well. First two lessons are free. If you know any of your friends who'd like to learn bridge. Uh, it's game forcing. So we must bid again. And what are we going? Yeah, what are we going to bid? Just a second question. So, yeah, it is game force. I'm going to look at that in just a second. A jump in a new suit, known as the jump shift. Madam Lola, Pip. Elizabeth, yeah, you're bidding three no trumps, yeah. Good, so game forcing 19 plus points to make. Some people think it's 16 plus a jump shift. No, 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 19 plus because partner's got six points. Six and 19 is 25. There you go, look. Known as the jump shift by opener. It's a rare bid to make. You don't often have 19 points. So open one heart with all of these hands here. I think they've all got 19 points, have they? And after partners one spade response, you'd rebid three diamonds. Good. The jump shift. Yeah, but you need to be 19 or, or an amazing 18, you know, really good 18, but 19 plus. Let's play hand three now. On BBO. We do we always play four set hands. And here we go. It's North's turn to bid today. Uh, seven, 10, 20 points. That's just one heart. Definitely not worth an upgrade to two clubs. One spade by South. Over to North now. What's North's rebid with 20 points? Open up. And oh, uh, Linda Reynolds, good morning. Yeah, so we jumped to three diamonds here. Don't need to alert it, it's a natural bid, showing 19 plus points. Uh, what do you think South responds now? Responder. Interesting. There's a few bits you could make here at South. Clearly, we're in a game-forcing situation. Valerie, good morning. KTP. Three spades would generally show a six-card suit here, Pip. Yeah. I think what I would do, and this is not... Altogether obvious. Thing is, three no trumps is a sign off. Partner won't bid again. We might miss out on our best contract. You know, we do have a club stopper, but three no trumps here actually isn't a good contract at all. Uh, wouldn't make. So actually, the best bid here is three hearts. There's a kind of preference bid. Yeah, so well done, Trissa. Not many of you got that right, but don't feel bad because when we did this lesson a long time ago, 90% of people bid three no trumps. But three hearts here gives you a better option. We are game forcing. And what do you think North bids now? Clearly must bid again. Not always showing three here, Pip. It could just be two. Oh, thanks, Caroline, for your company. Well, North has already shown five hearts and four diamonds. So now they make the bit of three spades. Yes, the thing is, by bidding three hearts, it gives the auction a bit more space. It's a tricky bid, that three hearts. I must say. So now that shows three card support for spades, and we can reach our best contract by far of four spades. Three no trumps would not be a happy bunny on a club lead. 
Very good. Okay, so a tricky auction, that one. You know, this, uh, this isn't an easy hand. Slightly harder lesson, this one, than we do normally for the intermediates. Uh, now, Jack of Clubs lead. And thank you, partner, for the dummy. A bit disappointed by the Trump situation. But I think we're good to go. Okay, so winning with the ace. Which card do we play next as South uh, Declarer? <clears throat> yes. Oh, hi, Jill Walker. Uh, Jenny, Sue B, Margaret Hyatt from York, Ken Wallace, one of our, our guests. Yeah, definitely we need to rough as many clubs as we can, don't we? As quickly as possible. Back to hand with the Queen of Diamonds. And another club roughs. All going quite well. Okay, so now I'm not going to ask you this question because I know you're going to play the Ace of Spades. Noting the Queen. And really now we can just play out our winners. Trying to get back to hand. Uh, we might try getting back with the Ace of Hearts, actually. You never know, Trump's. Might be 3-2. Hearts might be 3-3. Three, three. In which case we can get back to hand. But no, they over rough with the 10. Uh, would they play the 10 of clubs? Probably draw our trumps, to be honest. Um, but that's the end of the party. We've got a trump left. And a winning diamond. So we did just squeeze home in four spades. Yes, as you can see, we managed to reach. It wasn't easy to reach the best contract of four spades. I think if you played this hand at a club, at a bridge club, not many would end up in four spades. A lot would be in three no trumps going down. As four hearts would go down as well. So tricky bidding. Um, let's go back to the classroom for some more question and answer right so different situation here we've opened a diamond with our 14 points partners come back one spade we've repeated our diamonds yeah to show six card suit nearly always a six card suit there might be the odd exception uh, partners come back two hearts so two questions here first of all is what type of bid is the two hearts forcing non-forcing forcing for one round forcing to game And second question, so that's the first one, really, just to decipher North's bid. Uh, is it a weak hand? Is it a strong hand? Is it a medium hand? You know, uh, do we have to bid again? Is it forcing? Uh, if we were to bid again, then, then what was South's? Yeah, let's just answer the first question first. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves uh, for those in the live chat box. Yeah, it's not necessarily weak, Kim, no. No, no. It's... I'll tell you what it is. It's forcing for one round, and it's 10 plus points. Tiki just got in there in time. We're changing our mind. Yeah. Forcing for one round, showing 10 plus points. Could be 17 points. Could be 20 points. I mean, there's no upper limit, but it's minimum of 10, and showing five spaces of four hearts. So what's our rebid now as south, do you think, with 14 points? Quite tricky. They are quite tricky, forcing or non-forcing bids. I can't help sneaking a look at the charity total every now and again. It'll be interesting to see if Bajir will come and tell us how we're doing. But amazing that we were third in the leaderboard and we've only really just started. Um, yeah, we're well, definitely, I think, two no, definitely no trumps. Yeah, you know, you need to show that you've got a club stopper here. Okay, but very well done. Yeah, we need to bid no trumps here. Either two no trump or three no trump. Which do you think is right? 
three diamonds isn't very helpful here. We need to tell partner that we've got a club stopper. And very well done. Three, two, one. Let's reveal the answer. In replay, did you get this one right? Let me get your vibes in replay. They're saying most of them got it right. Okay, I believe them. It's three no trumps to show a club stopper and 14 or 15 points, upper range. Two no trump here, and it's quite a difficult bit, it's quite subtle, would show a club stopper and 12 or 13 points minimum. So the three no trump bit, they're intelligent bit, quite tricky, don't worry if you got it wrong. Yeah. Four suit forcing, no point using four suit forcing, Lisa. No, there's no point here. Three no trumps does the job. Good, well done. Useful bid that by responder. Yeah, forcing for one round, 10 or more points. And that's the previous slide. Sorry, that's the full hand look, everyone. Good. Right. Yeah, but the six-card suit, Alison, remember, is worth an extra point. Yeah, a six-card suit is a great asset in bridge. Yeah, Peter A., I think he's one of our more experienced players. He learned something there, and I think others would as well uh, uh, on that uh, sequence. Okay, uh, something different. This is probably more for our improvers, this one. I've opened two clubs, 23 plus. You come back two diamonds. I've now rebid two no trumps as north. What's your next bit of south, if anything? Is two clubs was ostensibly forcing to game, but now they've rebid two no trumps. Is it still forcing to game? By the look of the chat box, well, I won't tell you what they're saying, but it begins with a P. Yeah, so I was going to make a joke there about P and it ends with a A double S, but I'm not. Uh, there you go. Good. So it's the one time you can pass. Two no trumps is 23, 24 points, Sandy. And with zero or one point, you should pass. It's the one time when two clubs isn't forcing to game, when it's the two no trump rebit. Yeah, the only time. Yeah, it's fairly reasonably obvious if you think about it. Have you ever played two no trumps when partner's got zero or one point? I have. It's, it's a miserable experience, having to play all the cards out of your own hand. Right, so that's that. Here's another scenario. I've opened a spade. You've bid two hearts. I've come back two spades. North's bid three diamonds. Okay, is it forcing? And what do we bid next with South? There. So what type of forcing bid is what type of forcing bid is it? Let's have that. Let's be a bit more specific. Forcing for one round. Game forcing. I think we all know it's forcing. If North had a weaker hand, they would pass. So it's, is it game forcing? FG or GF, depending on which way the round it is. Oh, Joan's on board. Hi, Joan. Gina B. Jill T. Beatles with us. Patricia B. A sumpter, part of our strong Irish contingent. And I say again, do feel free to pass on this link to others, bridge players who you know. Well, the answer is it is game forcing. Yeah, new suit, uh, Eleanor, is game forcing. So we can just bid three spades here. Yeah, new suit, I'm going to talk about it in just a second, actually. But yeah, three diamonds game forcing. Good. So three spades means we've got at least six spades. Okay. And partner with either bid four spades or three no trumps. Well done. So that's game forcing. So I'd just like to reaffirm 
or introduced to some of your sound bidding principle that I, I play and teach, a new suit at the three level by either open or responder is forcing to gain. Okay. Not not at the two level, Lisa, no. No, new suit at the three level by open or responder forcing to gain. This will sometimes mean that as opener, you will have to repeat a five card suit at the two level, not wanting to go up to the three level with a new suit. We'll look at that in a second. But that is something you should just agree with your partner if they don't already know it. It's a very good principle. There, like this type of hand here. 16 points. You bid three diamonds here. Basically, you know, you know partner's shown 10 points by bidding two hearts, so you've got the points for game. Normally about 16 plus Allison. However, if Sal's got a weaker hand, they bid as follows. So on this type of hand, you open a spade, partner comes back two hearts, and yeah, beginners would bid three diamonds here to show their shape. It's just not a good idea. So far better to bid two spades here. Okay. Normally six cards too, but it can just be five. I really don't want to bid three diamonds here. You'll end up in three no trumps. Could be a disaster if partner's only got nine or ten points. Okay? So every now and again, repeat your suit at the two level with five rather than going up on minimal values. Let's play hand four. Our last hand on BBO. Let's have a look at it. Hey, Jack, sorry to interrupt. Wondering if uh, we could do a quick uh, cliffhanger before we play this hand. Uh, it is a fundraiser after all. Um, yes. Want to let you know, and uh, everyone, we are within spitting distance of second place. Um, and so I want to share, we are within 80 pounds of, uh, of getting into second place. So I want to share the link right now. Uh, for those of you who already donated, feel free to just, um, we, we'll get back to it in a second, but let me uh, just share That's that amazing. link. That's yes, amazing. We're, we're nearly up into second place. I think we there's a good chance we might get there by, by the time we close the play. And for those asking, so I just put a, uh, a pop-up right over our faces. I think you can still hear yes, us. I've seen it, yes. But uh, yes. this yes. will prompt you to, uh, to make a quick uh, contribution if you can. And if you haven't already, if you already have, and I see so many already have, well done. Um, is some folks have uh, asked behind the scenes, what about first place? First place, they 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 have quite a lead on us. <laughs> Kudos, well done to Abby Smith Bridge Club. We have to uh, admire where they are. I don't think they're in our sights uh, today. Sing praise. Matt, no, Abby is I, Abby's Bridge Club has, has done amazingly with their donation. But there is still time for us to catch them. You know, we have got. You know, we've got quite a few days left. Some might donate on Wednesday in my lesson there. We've got all the people watching in replay. So, you know, you know, we're, we're getting there. And, I, I, of course, the real goal is to contribute to the amazing work, work that Cancer Research UK is doing. I was just reading an estimation that the research that um, Cancer Research UK has done in the last 40 years has saved an estimated 1 million lives in the UK alone. And so, you know, I'm sure everyone here knows someone who has battled cancer, recovered from it, hopefully, still dealing with it. Um, we all owe something to the research which is being done. So just wanted to encourage folks who are able to make that uh, small contribution. Uh, you can close this little pop-up in the top right corner. There's an X if, uh, if you have already donated or um, aren't able to do it right now. I will be sure to share the links along with the replay and the worksheet and the two lesson hands, which Jack was mentioning. I'll be share, sure to share that with everyone who registered. Keep an eye on your uh, email inbox, and uh, that should arrive within a few hours after today's uh, lesson. And no problem. Yeah, keep that cat on the lap where a good cat belongs. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, there's no rush people to donate now. Obviously, they're concentrating on the lesson. It does only take a second, but yeah, we'll stay online at the end, maybe for five or ten minutes, uh, just so we. Yeah. I certainly will. Uh, just be interesting to see uh, if we can get to. Uh, well, uh, it's Janet's Bridge Lunch, I think, is in second place, isn't it? 
Yes. Well, I mean, that's, you know, I, every now and then a competitive bone is, uh, you know, I, 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 I feel the need to exercise it. So watch out, Janet. We're coming. Watch out, Janet. We're off to you. Yes. But amazing from Janet getting 700 pounds from a, a bridge line. Absolutely. Line. What Absolutely. A, what a, well done to everyone. Them. And what an honor being, uh, you know, working with all these clubs from all over the UK, Scotland, Wales, um, the whole, the EVU, the SBU, everyone oh. involved in this event. Oh, I mean, it's, there's hundreds, it's, you know, if not thousands of bridge clubs, budget uh, up and down the country who are, you know, doing fundraisers uh, in this festival of Bridge Week, you know, which starts today uh, and ends. I think also just a little plug for, uh, they're doing a big pairs competition, I think. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, son came in for, for the end of it. And Jack, we uh, have good news. We are officially in second place. Well done all. Uh, so that's great progress. We'll leave the links up. Let's keep things going. But I think that means we can get back to the bridge. Jack, what do you we think? Can. We can. Yes, yes. We, okay, we, we, back to you. We've, we've done really well, everyone. Let's get back to the final set. I was just about to say that on Sunday, the English Bridge Union, I think, are doing a national... Um, pairs competition on BBO or Real Bridge. Look on the EBU website, ebu.co.uk, uh, online, which sounds quite fun. It's only four pounds to play in that. I think it's on Sunday, but uh, you know, I'm not clear. But it's a national pairs event online, should be great fun. Four pounds a player, I think. Anyway, that's on the EBU's website, ebu.co.uk. Uh, let us well, I mean, it's just been brilliant, isn't it? I feel really chuffed. Thank you all so much. Um, yeah, and there's still lots of donations still to come, I know, at the end. Right. Let me focus on one spade. Back to reality. Um, North Hand, are you one no trump? Or are you two hearts playing Akol? Oh, Annie's playing bridge and bingo. Oh, well done, Annie. The Wallingford Bridge Club, well done, yeah. Very good uh, effort, though, from Janet's bridge, bridge lunch. Um, yes, you can and should bid two hearts here. Rule of 14. Yeah, nine points and a five-card suit. If you bid one no trump, six to nine points, you'll often miss game because open won't bid again with 15, 16 balance. It's a very good nine points as well. So definitely two hearts there. Um, South's rebid. Clearly, we need to bid again. 12 points. What would you rebid on the south hand? Open it. Yes, plenty of time to donate at the end. The links will be up all week, I think. Well done. So before this lesson, you might have bid three diamonds. Here, so it's clearly right to just bid two spades, yeah. The auction's too cramped here, and three diamonds will be game forcing 16 plus. Good. Well done. I think that's a really useful thing that you will have some of you will have learned here as well. Anything more from North with their nine points? Definite pass. South three bid is 12 to 15. So no chance of game. Jack of Clubs lead. Okay, well, I'm just deciding whether to draw trumps on this hand or not. Thank you, Madam Lola, and and everyone else who's donating uh, have already donated so far. Um Right. Well, clearly it's right to draw trumps when we get a chance. So second player play, I've kind of made my plan. Second player play low. Would you play the ace of clubs or the six here as third player? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> well, it's wasteful to play the ace. If you play the ace of clubs here, Declare is going to make their king and their queen. So better to play a slightly encouraging six. Do you see that? If you were to waste the ace of clubs here, 
both the Clarinamics, their king and their queen, gives them an extra trick. So well done <clears throat> for playing low. Um, what does De Clara do now? Which card do you think they play specifically? Which card does South play as De Clara? Oh my God, we're 10 pounds away from raising a thousand pounds. I couldn't resist that. Oh, right. Well, yes, a heart. To the 10. Would be sensible. We're going to, you know, trying to get to dummy to take the spade finesse. Uh, they would switch to a diamond as east. Again, no point rising with the ace. And now we're on dummy, which is where we want to be. Oh, Cynthia, try refreshing your browser. Sorry you lost us after donating, Cynthia. Uh, but uh, try refreshing the browser. Winning spade finesse. Back to dummy with the jack of hearts. It's all going quite well so far. Um, oh, dear. Mary's lost Jack and Cynthia. Try refreshing your browser. Or Bajir will help you. Um, now, what do we do, everyone? We're in dummy with the jack of hearts. Which card do we play next from the dummy? Should we just give... Yes, um, we'll share the link with you at the end, Alison. But Bajir will send an email. I think he has already sent an email with the link. It's actually just on the webpage, learnbridgeonline.com forward slash Jack. But we'll wait to the end. The end is quite soon now anyway. Um, hang on a second, everyone. Let me give you a clue. Here's the get out of jail free again. Is this the last time we're in dummy? Do you think we should be playing a winner? Because this is our last time in dummy. It's last chance saloon. So well done if you got this right in replay or in the live chat. You need to play your king of hearts to get rid of uh, a club, probably. Good. That's it, Linda. Well done. And in Harrogate, we now continue with our drawing of the trumps. Quite tricky hands, by the way. Slightly harder than normal, I think. So if you found them tricky, it's not just you. They are quite difficult. Uh, that's it. Now we can get off lead with a diamond. They come back a club, which we rough. And again, get off lead with a diamond. Ace of diamonds. And we've got... A winning trump. Actually, I lost a bit of concentration there as well. <laughs> I was looking at the chat box. But yeah, I think we should have just made 110. But yeah, we made our nine tricks. I think we made an over trick in the wash. But yeah, we just made, made should just make our eight tricks there, 110. Uh, really, crucially, uh, finessing in hearts straight away and playing that king of hearts uh, before we couldn't get back to dummy again. Okay, so that's it with the BBO. Oh, let's have a bit of fun. Just to finish, really, now. We've got a few minutes just for some slightly harder things. One heart by West. North has made a takeout double. That's me. Pass from East. Over to you as South. What do you do next with your no points? Do you pass, bid? If so, what? What do you think? Awkward, isn't it? That's why I've given it to you. It's a difficult one. 
Well, I'll give you a, yeah. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Funny enough, it came up at Harrogate Bridge Club last week. It was a similar auction, and most of the uh, Souths did pass. I think they had five trumps to the 10-9. And I have to tell you that one heart doubled made with overtrix. So I am going to give you a get out of jail free. I've used it quite a lot today, more so than normal. But um, you have to bid. Yeah. The only time you can pass if your trumps are really good, like king, queen, jack, 10, nine, x of hearts. Amazing trumps. Okay. So you do have to bid. So you're getting a second go. What do you think your bid would be? You can't pass. One heart doubled is going to make easily with over tricks. It happened at the bridge club, you know. So most of the club players there were, were passing in a similar situation and one heart doubled made with over tricks. I think they had five to the 10, nine or something. So this is going to be a really useful bit of information for you. Do you bid one spade or do you bid one no trump? Those are the options. Take your pick. One's right, one's wrong. You're watching in replay. Do you feel lucky? Okay, let's have a look. Should we roll the dice? Three, two, one, reveal. Ta-da! One spade. I'm in a kind of festive mood today, obviously, with the with the fundraising. It's it's just fantastic to be able to give something back to charity via Bridge, the game I love. I've done quite a few charity events over the year. In fact, as many of you know, I do the I've just started doing a Macmillan fundraiser at the Swinton Park Hotel, uh, which we're doing again next March, uh, by the way. Um, oh, Anthony, good question, but uh, only East would be allowed to redouble here. Yes, uh, South wouldn't be allowed to redouble, that's not allowed. But East would be allowed to redouble. Just before we give you the answer, here's a little bit of bonus information. I don't want to go into it, I haven't got time. But Anthony and others, if East were to redouble, it shows 10 plus points and an interest in doubling North and South and what they end up in. So but there'll be more information online. I'm not going to go into it now, but East's redouble here would show 10 plus points. Yeah, that's right, Peter. Now, hang on. Uh, one spade, yeah. One no trump here does show six to nine points opposite a double. It does show values. So some would be tempted to bid one no trump. It does still show six to nine points and at least a heart, one heart stopper, maybe two. So, yeah, one spade. This is a nightmare situation. It doesn't happen very often, but much better to bid one spade. Your partner will understand you might have nothing. Yeah, one spade keeps the bidding at a lower level as well. Also, partners more likely to have four spades, aren't they, in this auction? And if they jump to four spades every now and again, they must have a mega hand north to do that. So that'd be unlikely. Good. But I think the main thing there, actually, the main point of this slide is that you do have to bid something. Oh, let's just have an addendum. Um, is the three spade bid forcing here? First question. And what does South bid with 10 points? <clears throat> uh, yes, Rosemary, I would bid one no trump rather than mine. If I had a, uh, one or two stoppers in their suit, yes. But I would need to have stop. And six to nine points, Rosemary, yeah. Good question. Uh, we'll come on to the answer in just a second. And yes, it's game forcing because we bid two clubs, partner 16 plus. So we bid four spades. That's it. Well done, Serena. Just coming in on the chat box at the end. Uh, these are the addendums I have. At the end of each lesson, we have one or two addendums normally, which are for the more experienced. You know, so they're like trimmings. You kind of ignore them if you're less experienced. Press the pause button, whatever. But yes, I do two online lessons every week. Here's the full hand, by the way. And now partner bid six spades. Hey, 22 points. Thank you, Sandra. No, it's a, it's a tricky topic, forcing or non-forcing. That's why I thought it'd be very suitable for today's fundraiser. Right, and then we also finish with just three things as well for newcomers. So three important things to remember, they are on the worksheet. 
Firstly, a two club opens forcing to game unless the rebid is two no trumps, in which case responder should pass. New principle, uh, the new suit at the three level from open or responder should be forcing to game. So normally showing 16 or more points. And finally, only jumpers open in a new suit. So one heart, one spade, three clubs, say, if you've got 19 or more points. Okay, game forcing, not, not 16, 17, 19 plus. Um, right, well, it's 10.36 UK time. It is the end of the show. And, uh, yeah, I've just really enjoyed the lesson. Thank you so much, Jack. Uh, thank you, everyone, especially folks who are able to join us live. Uh, everything that you added with your comments, with your questions, responding to Jack's questions, and, of course, with your donations. Well done, team. Well done, Jack. This was so fun. Really good fun, Bajir. And um, it's just fantastic to have, you know, all the newcomers as well, obviously. Um, great comments from everyone now. All the thank yous. Too many to list here. Uh, but Peter A has got it right. Thanks, Jack, for a great lesson and a good fundraiser. I hope all the newcomers enjoyed your lesson. So that kind of sums it up. It was a real joy being able to welcome so many uh, new bridge friends into our virtual classroom. Please stay in touch for any reason. Let me just put the link, uh, the links again for uh, any last minute oh, yes. donations. Uh, yes. And again, I'll be sure to include the links to make donations in the email, which I'll send to all of you, everyone who registered and everyone in the regular weekly class taught by Jack. Um, keep an eye on in, in on the inbox for an email uh, from us there. Um, gosh, Jack, I, I, I'm just so happy. I, I, I think I'm at a loss for words. I think this no, has just been a wonderful been, event. Yeah, no, we've just it's just been brilliant. Stephanie, thank you. Brilliant class. She's hoping we stay in second place in the fundraiser. Well, it's early days. I mean, um, it's obviously this is the, I think, almost the first day of the festival at Bridge Bridge. It goes on till Sunday night. Uh, so, but a great start from LearnBridge Online. And I must just quickly flick over to the leaderboard, which I'm doing now. Well done. And what I'll do too, I, I a couple people, uh, some folks from Ireland, um, if you're outside, if you're in a different country, uh, you can actually select a different country when you're trying to make your donation. Um, I had to do the same thing. So I, uh, making a donation from the United States, I had to select the United States before my zip code was uh, was accepted. So if you had any trouble with that, perhaps uh, wherever you're joining us from, you should still be able to donate. The donations, 100% of what you're donating is going directly to Cancer Research UK. Uh, the donation is on the Cancer Research UK website. Um, and so again, the links that we send you, they'll probably be able to help out if you run into any trouble better than I would but I'd be happy to uh, share, of course, anything. Let me share this year with them because everyone's getting quite competitive now, which is good. Because <laughs> we are bridge players after all, Jack. Exactly. So I'm just going to, for Peter A and others, this is the link for the leaderboard, look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, Jack. We're we're three pounds short of <laughs> a thousand pounds. I know. Surely we're not going to say Surely on. someone. I mean, someone has three pounds in their couch uh, cushion. I've got right one now. pound here, but here, look. Oh, you're close. You're close. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking around as if I, I might have any sterling, but of, of course I don't. Um, no, oh, exciting. Maggie's on her way. Maggie's coming. Oh, Maggie's going to do it. Oh, Kathy's going to do it. Who's going to do it? Barbara uh, says refresh. All right, refreshing the page. Oh, we did it. Well done, everyone. Oh, I must just look at it, Bashir. Hang on. I'm just uh, refreshing the page. Oh, 1,027. I mean, that looks so good, doesn't it? Fantastic. Well done. Well done, everyone who donated before the lesson, during the lesson, after the lesson, in the future. Those of you watching by replay, you can still take part in this. Of course, we're doing this to support cancer research done by Cancer Research UK, a respected, a, I mean, just a phenomenal organization. I mentioned this earlier. Uh, it was estimated that the research done there has saved over a million lives in the last four decades. This is something that touches all of us. So if you're able, Jack and I, we heartily encourage you to uh, join in. Jack and I have also made personal donations. We're joining with you. We're all doing this together uh, because it's such a wonderful cause. I'll just give, um, I think it was Maggie was asking for a link, Bajir. 
Uh, this is the link actually just on the website. They can donate from that as well, can't they? Learnbridgeonline.com. Yes, yep. so, and I'll keep the links there uh, for a while as well. Yes. So it's going to be really exciting. Keep an eye on the leaderboard during the week, everyone, because obviously everyone else will start fundraising as well. So it's going to be interesting to stay, see if we, I mean, first place is a long way away. As you can see, they've done amazing. But I think if we, you know, obviously if we, other people will start to donate, uh, you know, because this is the beginning of the fundraiser, but also people will continue to donate for us, won't they, Bajir, as, as the days go on. And we've the got links will stay going. up. Wouldn't that be wonderful? So yeah, invite your friends. Friends can still register uh, on that link or from the emails I send you, they'll be able to watch the recording uh, right away and perhaps they'll join in. So do share. Uh, it, it's not too yeah. late to invite friends to take part in this. Yeah. And uh, yeah. also just uh, give an open invitation to all the new folks who joined us today. Uh, come on by. Um, Reply to any of the emails you receive from LearnBridge Online. I'll set you up with a free week in the class if you'd like to come back. Visit with us again sometime. We'd love to stay in touch with you. It's really been so nice having um, so many new folks join us this week. Yes, no, it's been amazing. And I, I, you know, I just so chuffed that we've got up to a thousand pounds, you know, after the lesson. And obviously, there'll be more to come uh, with people donating. There'll be people watching in replay. Uh, there'll be those sharing it with their friends. That's a really important thing to do as well. Just send the link and the, to the replay to some friends. That's easily done, isn't it? Sending the it link. Is, to the it is. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Any problems at all, they can just email you hello at learnbridgeonline.com. Uh, but Absolutely. yeah, reach out for any reason. I'd love to help out however I can. Um, and of course, le let's uh, we, we should remember again the regulars of your class, Jack, um, the, the members who show up every week or watch by replay every week. You guys made this all possible. Um, yeah. you guys are co sponsors of all of this. Yeah, so thank you guys really making all of this possible, inviting your friends, everything. Um, I think you guys know Jack and I look forward to spending this time with you every week. So I uh, thank My you favorite all. favorite time of the week. Don't, don't tell the Wednesday morning class at <laughs> 11, but uh, no, 9.30 on Monday. It's I great. think he tells them that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, mum's the word. <laughs> mum's all the right. Word. Um, Jack, shall we wrap this up? This has really just been a wonderful, wonderful event. Um, Jack, you, as always, you did a fantastic job. Uh, we don't want to keep you too long. No, well, um, thank you. No, it's, we'll wrap it up. Thank you to Trissa. She's a good friend of Jack's mum. Uh, thank you for your donation, Trissa, and all the other donations. But yes, Jack's mum is somewhere off Palermo. She might be watching on her iPhone or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but she's, she's, she's on a boat somewhere with some, uh, having a week's holiday with some friends. So that's lovely. She'll be back with us. In a couple of weeks, I think. But yeah, just let's have one. Let me just have one last look at the total because I'm going to be looking at this all week now. <laughs> that is amazing. We're up to twelve hundred pounds now. Gosh, that's just so fantastic. We're Good well. Job, we are chasing the Abbey Smith Bridge Club. You know, I think we've got mm. them in our sights. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, everyone. I, it's it's fantastic. I I know you know whatever you were able to donate, even if it was just to spread the word, it means so much together. We're making a difference, so uh, let's keep it up. And um, yeah, just what a fun way to do it, by Learning it, Bridge. Yes, yeah, so just for Lucy and others, she wants to see how you see the total. Um, and there it is, that, that's the um, the link, Lucy. But basically you can see them via the English Bridge Union's website as well. Uh, they've got a big page devoted to the Festival Bridge and the money raised, the leaderboards, everything. Um, oh, just one thing, Bajir, I got carried away, and I think you did too, <laughs> uh, Wednesday. Ah, uh, yes. Improvers, we're doing a really good lesson, which is appropriate for intermediates as well. It's the three card major suit raise. Okay, I, which can be tricky. We can uh, get get ourselves in trouble with that. Well, like one heart, two hearts, or one spade, two spades, but also how the bidding develops after that. It should develop in a very sensible, logical way to get you to the right contract. And a week today uh, for yeah. our regulars, and also for any newcomers who'd like to join us as well, uh, we're doing a review of the last five or six weeks. So that's all the topics we've done over the last five or six weeks, which are further uses of double, uh, responding to week threes, showing shape, protective bidding, and tricky no Trump contracts. So do come and join us for that, a question and answer session uh, with four set hands as well. Fantastic. And um, I, I additionally, just an invitation to regular members of the class, if you have questions about today's lesson, go ahead and leave it on the members page for Jack, we'll all keep learning together there. 
And uh, to everyone else who came by to visit this week, please stay in touch, reach out anytime. You know where to find us, learnbridgeonline.com. And uh, you can stay in, uh, it, we'll let you know of any upcoming free lessons that Jack teaches. We try to do one or two every year or so. So well, Black, uh, Friday, like Black Friday them. coming up in November, haven't we? We do, yeah. we do indeed. So uh, please also, stay in touch, final, everyone. One final thing, Bashir, just before we finish, because, you know, uh, is we are also, I'm teaching beginners uh, on the 9th of October. So um, we'll be telling everyone about that shortly in the next week or two. Um, anyone who, you know, would like to play bridge, uh, 9th of October, uh, first two lessons are free. So that'll be coming up shortly, won't it? Um, yeah, we'll, well done. Yeah. So if, you know, your uh, non-bridge playing friends or maybe your spouse, you haven't really managed to get them to finally learn, uh, start with two free lessons with Jack. The first two lessons will be totally free, just yeah. like this. Yeah. You can come right into the classroom. Uh, no need to do anything or, or pay any money or enter any uh, credit cards. Simple. You just register with an email and a first name, and that's it. We'll we'll get you on board for two lessons of beginners. So yeah, it's only once a year, Bashir. So that's uh, really exciting. Uh, that's on my next exciting project uh, to, to look forward to. We, we, Jack, I, I don't know if I've ever asked you. Do you uh, do you recommend convincing a spouse to uh, learn bridge to become a partner? I've heard wonderful stories of it blossoming into a lifelong yeah. relationship, and I've heard other people who said, "Nope, I will partner with anyone besides." Yeah. yeah. So -so. Well, that's an interesting question, and I often say to people, I say actually two thirds of married couples should not play bridge together because <laughs> it might end up in divorce, uh, but. A third of couples can, like my mum and dad, they always played bridge together. And we're, you know, they didn't, ha you know, weren't nasty to each other and got on really well. But yes, no, it's 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 a dubious yeah. one. Uh, this, <laughs> yeah, so it's very perhaps your friends. Yeah. Well, so uh, get the word out, uh, everyone. Uh, we better let everyone go, including you, Jack. Thank yeah. you all again, especially members of the class, uh, folks who were able to donate whatever you were able to donate. Um, thank you for making this a really fun event. I'm so proud to have been a part of it. So thank you all. Thank you, Jack. And do everyone watching and replay, keep an eye on the English Bridge Union's webpage, ebu.co.uk, because that's got all the details of the Festival of Bridge, the fundraising, how much money we've raised. But we'll certainly keep our, our members in, and students in touch with how much we raise all together, won't we, Bajir? Absolutely. But I'm just so proud. You know, I'm going to, I feel like having a gin and tonic, but uh, it's maybe a bit <laughs> early in the day. But no, I mean, I'm just on a high. You know, we've obviously reached out to a lot of our, a lot of our, 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 our marketing and, and we're a really good audience. Uh, yeah, no, it's just, yeah, great. So uh, we've started the week off well. Absolutely. Thank you all. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Bashir. Bye, y'all. Bye, Jack's mum.